So welcome to the fourth instalment of the Sheffield Street Art Trail. I'm beginning this walk. I'm stood outside uh, the Grapes Pub, which used to be a live music venue in Sheffield. It's an Irish bar now. And uh, that's where the uh, Arctic Monkeys began their rise. I'm going to take a right turn down here, Bailey Lane. And this is going to bring me down to uh, Netherthorpe. And there's quite a lot of street art around there. So that's our first stop. So this is uh, our first piece of street art on the trail. This is by a Spanish artist Nano4814. So just around the corner from that, on uh, the side of Fagan's pub, is uh, Pete McKee piece, very famous Sheffield artist. So this area used to be uh, quite run down, a lot of empty buildings, old steelworks. Uh, but recently it's uh, university has taken over a lot of the uh, property, turned it into uh, university buildings and uh, accommodation. At the minute I'm in uh, Netherthorpe and this video is going to take in uh, Netherthorpe, Kellam Island and uh, hopefully Walkley, Crooks and Ecclesall Road depending on uh, how much I get done before the sun goes down. So here you can see uh, the contrasts of the area at the minute. We've got some old uh, flats there and then right next to all the new buildings, the new student accommodation that's popped up, Tesco Express over there and uh, even more being built just over here. So the whole area is uh, in the midst of a transition. It used to be very run down around here but it's uh, starting to change, well it already has changed. I do believe there's some street art around here. In fact I can see it just coming up to my left. So I've now come out on Netherthorpe Road, where the street art continues. So this is a fairly recent one. Thankfully it's not been vandalised by some uh, fool overwriting the word black with the word all because he doesn't understand what Black Lives Matter means. Right, back into Netherthorpe. Well there's lots of street art up there on Brownell Street. Unfortunately as you can see there's no access. But there's plenty more around here. It just keeps going on and on. This is Well Meadow Drive. It's a bit faded now look quite old. There's a couple here, one by Rocket or one. I think it might be that one. And a much older one. 
artist unknown. So the warning signs on this building uh, telling you that there's, uh, it's unsafe asbestos containing materials, risk of serious injury or death, risk of entrapment not a place to be uh, exploring I guess pretty much all of this area used to be like this until a few years ago So this one is um, painted by the artist Jupiter Fab. As you can see it's got three women of uh, different ethnicities all enjoying a conversation. The mobile phones have been put down. <laughs> So that's the side of uh, the Shakespeare's pub and that uh, was printed by an artist called Florence Blanchard as part of the uh, Feature Walls Festival in 2016. And this is the Sheffield City Council Animal Shelter and this painting is uh, by a guy called Rob Lee. So this was painted by John Wilkinson and it's called The Factory at the End of Our Street and it's part of something called the Kellam Island Arts and Cultural Heritage Trail and uh, you can see it's uh, scenes from uh, Sheffield's industrial past. We're going to see quite a few of these I think now. as we enter Kellam Island so uh, that was Netherthorpe then I say it's an interesting mix of old and new and now we're going to enter um, a similar area because uh, this area was completely run down for many years it used to be uh, uh, part of uh, Sheffield's industrial water and uh, then uh, when the industries started to close down it just became derelict and uh, mainly the only reason why you would come down here was to pick up a lady of the night and uh, but there's been a lot of uh, money put into it over the past few years and uh, yeah now it's uh, quite a vibrant area bars, restaurants, lots of new accommodation so let's go and have a look. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but just over there is a uh, painting of the old uh, animated children's character from the 70s and 80s, Morph. No, it is not for you. That's my tea. Oh, bother, I'd better answer it. Quite random. Right, so walking along the Upper Don Trail, and uh, this is probably the best spot, although maybe from the bridge.
Okay, so I'm stood uh, over the bridge, um, over the, uh, just next to the Upper Don Trail, which is on that side, but I've come back onto the bridge because I couldn't get a good shot because of the trees. But over to my right is a bar called the Riverside, but underneath it is uh, one of uh, Flem's pieces. That's from 2013. So it's quite old, but it's uh, it's not faded, isn't it? It's still looking pretty good. So another one of the uh, Callum Island Arts and Cultural Heritage Trail. And this is by an artist called James Croft. In fact, it gives you a name there. Lady Bower Summer. This is by the artist Joe Peel. If you look just on the uh, right hand side, old Henderson's Relish. And in the third video, uh, the artwork that is uh, painted on the side of the old Henderson Relish building is another one by Joe Peel. Right. So now we're at Kellam Island. There's the Kellam Island Brewery just behind, and this is the Kellam Island Museum. And uh, these are big Christmas markets around here. Obviously, uh, I don't think it'll be happening this year. Crushing mill, the fire clay used for grinding rock. It's the furnace trail. Um, doubt you can do that. Yeah, it's all shut down. You can see in there. There's lots of shops and stuff in here now, and they do have a. Cracking Christmas market. Seven pound admission. It says welcome back, we miss you, but it doesn't look like uh, there's much going on. Look at this big thing. Bulk steel making. The Bessemer converter was the world's first machine for making steel in great quantities. In 1856, it was the last working converter in Britain. At least there are some things to uh, have a look at. This was made to separate gas and liquid at high pressure in the chemical industry. See the new uh, houses. And some more here. built on top of the old buildings. Oh no, you can see through, they actually go all the way down and they've just kept the uh, old outer wall. So there's this guy, tucked away in the corner of the car park next to the Fat Cat pub and that's one by Bubba2000. If we just walk over here, to our right is the uh, Fat Cat pub, well just ahead of us. There's Jarvis Cocker, that's another of the uh, Bubba 2000 pieces. 
and whilst you're looking at Jarvis, if you just turn to your right, there's yet another of uh, Bubba 2000's pieces. So three of us to look at in this car park. So two more of these, just near the uh, Fat Cat pub. We've got the Voices of Alma by Julian Wright. And then just over across the road, you've got Pint, Paws and Pale Outlaws by Jim Connolly. whole thing is painted as well. This is the Fat Cat Pub. It shows you here, that was the water height in the Sheffield Flood 2007. And that was the water height of the Sheffield Flood in 1864. It's a very nice pub. Show you how different things are around here now. This is Little Kellum Street, Baker's Yard over there. It's all very modern now compared to what it used to be. And you think, how could uh, we afford to regenerate in this entire area? Oh, there you go. So, another one of these uh, boxes that's been painted by an artist called Femme Sauce. Another good pub. There's quite a few uh, decent pubs down here, all kind of real ale pubs, selling uh, craft beers. It's one of the good ones. It is uh, a little bit hipsterish in parts around here, but uh, there are worse things places can be, I suppose. It's better than being in pubs filled with yobs. This is uh, Bowling Green Street now. Yeah? And there's another one of these boxes, and then I'm going to walk up this street because there's tons of art up here. This is a piece called Nose to the Grindstone by Simon Wigglesworth Baker. And this one is called Neep's End Rooftops by the artist known as Dave Akehurst. Broken World by John Wilkinson. There's quite a lot of art on this street. This is called Water Steel Stone by Joanne Whittle. Each one of these tiles have been uh, individually painted. I'm guessing of uh, areas around Sheffield, yeah. Alfred Beckett and Sons. Recognise that now. is Emerging by John Wilkinson. And information on all these art, uh, art pieces can be found at the website carevart.com. So this is another one of uh, John Wilkinson's. Step out into the road to get a better look. This was called Figure Skate 2 Fire. Tony Corns, 2018, Abstract Landscape 2. It's pretty much just a, uh, an outdoor gallery, this. Untitled Townscape by Tony Corns. Figure Scope 4, Earth by John Wilkinson again. And Figure Scope 3, Space again by John Wilkinson. So, uh, yeah, if you want to find out any more information about these, just go to uh, curbart.com. Oh, there's more. In fact, the whole street's full of it. Sunrise, Sunset over Kellum by Simon Wigglesworth Baker, who we've just seen uh, his work on that uh, communications box. That's a big one.
We've got the sun shining on the sun. Interesting building. So this is a piece called On the Edge of Everything by John Wilkinson. And figure skate one, Water by John Wilkinson. Lifeblood of the City by James Croft. Now, uh, looks like the last one on here. Unfortunately, this uh, advert is uh, covering up the name of the artist on that one. Ah, Alfred Beckett and Sons. You recognise that name. Now, out of all the uh, street art that I was coming to look at, this is one that I wanted to see the most, and I nearly walked straight past it. Look, it's Pat Butcher. You bitch! So I'm just walking up Dunn Street because there are a couple more of these uh, boxes which I want to have a look at. This one is by Katie Set. It's called Stan Shaw. This one's called Butterflies in the Sunshine and this one was painted by a children's book illustrator called James Croft and it's, uh, it's opposite a uh, community childcare centre so isn't that nice? So I'm just crossing the uh, Ball Street Bridge over the River Don and uh, the next piece is this one here which was actually um, painted by a 15 year old girl who lives in Callum Island called uh, Thea Bristow Oh, and there's a few more of these here No information about these ones though, apart from this one. I don't know, just shows you the name of the trail. I do believe that in here, this is where we had a photo shoot for the band that used to be in Cold Jungle Lane. Tools of the Trade again by Simon Wigglesworth Baker. You can tell his, uh, his style, can't you? Must be a uh, host a lot of artist uh, galleries in there because uh, I remember going there for an exhibition for an artist called uh, Gordon Snee. So, this one is a uh, kid acne, and uh, I recognize that one. I think the same thing is uh, painted on the shop on Abbeydale Road, which we saw on uh, I think the Street Art Trail video one. This is the artist. Uh, known as Mace 
and there uh, did used to be uh, some text to go with it, but that's been uh, long gone. 2015, apparently. Oh, it's just the courtyard with a coffee shop. So some exams going on in the uh, Yellow Arch Studios. Lots of famous people recorded here. Arctic Monkeys, Richard Hawley, Goldfrapp. Good bar in there as well. Always wanted to try that place. I like the little uh, fish and chip shops that are stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Because you think if they're stuck out in the middle of nowhere and they're still open after God knows how long, uh, they must be pretty good. Another bar, the old workshop. If you do come to Sheffield for a night out, then uh, I really do recommend that you stay away from uh, the city centre. Then uh, certainly stay away from West Street. And uh, head down there, because there's some cracking bars around here. They're more like the bars you'd find, uh, I mean some of them are like kind of real old school, proper real ale bars. Some of them uh, are very kind of quirky and uh, a bit more European. You know, kind of bars you find in uh, mainland Europe. Um, much better, much better beer, much better atmosphere than the uh, bars in the uh, city centre. And there's a lot of them as well. There's quite a few bars around Callum Island. So yeah, I recommend that. Another Pete McKee there. Huh? God, with his uh, nose stuck in a packet of hobnobs. So this is a new one. This is uh, only gone up this year by an artist called Katie Set, and it's uh, of the anti-slavery campaigner Mary Ann Rawson, who was actually born in Kellam during the 19th century and was involved in the movement to abolish slavery. And here she's um, meeting Frederick Douglass who became a national leader of the uh, abolitionist movement in Massachusetts and New York after he escaped from slavery in 1838. And there's some information about it there. Red Don by Simon Wigglesworth Baker. Seen lots of his stuff today. So this is the outside of uh, the house skate park. And you might start recognising some of the art on here soon, a bit across the top and the bottom. It's our friend Flem again. Just crossed uh, Peniston Road, and uh, so that's it for Kelham Island. 